Hi, Darren Mangum here, securities lawyer, Mangum & Associates. Uh, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Uh, I just got through uh, recording in a session of the PPM Attorney Capital Forum, of which I'm the host. Um, if you like the content that you see on this free YouTube channel and you want to dive deeper, uh, we do offer a deeper dive. Uh, usually the forum session for, these forum sessions are uh, usually about 45 minutes long, sometimes a little longer and they dive deeper on uh, a lot of these topics. And um, uh, certainly a subscription to the PPM Attorney Capital Forum is a little less, is, is actually way less than hiring a, a securities law firm for the same advice. But uh, anyway, a lot of it just depends on your budget and uh, all of that. But um, uh, I'd like to jump on here uh, from time to time to talk about frequently asked questions that I get from clients. and. Um, uh, one is the difference between what, what is the difference between an exempt offering and a registered offering? Um, I often get you know clients that come back to me and they say, "Hey, I thought we registered with the SEC. Didn't we file a Form D and do a PPM? Aren't we registered with the SEC?" And the answer to that is, "Well, no. You'll see in the language that the the most of the time if we're doing it under." You know, Regulation S, Regulation D, Regulation Crowdfunding. Uh, these are not registered offerings with the SEC, but they're they're conducted under what we call ex exemptions from registration, which still require a filing, still require like a Regulation Crowdfunding. It's you still have to file with the SEC uh, like a Form C and an offering statement and all that, but um, but it's not registered with the SEC. It's it, it's 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 uh, even though you file these documents, it's 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 um, being conducted under exemptions from registration, and so sometimes I'll see that with a client, they'll they'll put it in their pitch deck. Hey, this is registered with the SEC because we filed Form D. You know, we're registered with the SEC, which is not true. Not true. You're not registered. You may be exempt from registration, and as long as you're exempt from registration, you're 100 percent legal, 100 percent fine. That's why the, these regulations exist, because they say, well, look, instead of making everybody register, okay, um, they say, look, if you abide by these certain rules, you are going to be exempt from registration, meaning you don't have to register. Um, uh, and so that is something that is, uh, is um, a question. And then what is... Um, uh, another question I've gotten is, uh, what is um, what are restricted securities, right? Um, and so, you know, oftentimes in the news you'll get, um, you know, like especially people that get busted by the SEC, they say, oh, these people were selling unregistered securities, you know, and like that, oh, that's a bad thing. Well, all of all, if if any security is offered that are not registered. Okay. Well, if well, I should say any any security that's issued pursuant to an exemption is obviously by definition not registered because it's exempt, right? It was offered in an exempt transaction, therefore they are not they are not registered securities or they're unregistered securities. But as long as you're they're offered pursuant to exemptions, uh, uh, an applicable exemption like. For example, Rule 506B is an exemption. Rule 506C is an exemption. Regulation crowdfunding is an exemption, right? And so just because you're, you're you know, you can, in fact, legally, 100% legal to issue unregistered securities as long as there is an exemption that applies, right? But you know, oftentimes you'll see it in the news. They were they were accused of selling unregistered securities, but they, they sort of end the sentence right there. They don't complete the sentence, meaning they were selling unregistered securities without an exemption, right? Because if they had an exemption that covers them, then they're fine, right? Anyway, so yeah, that's something that I that I see a lot, um, uh, those questions, right? Just a lot of it's like legal semantics, but, you know, the, the, the devil's in the details, especially when you're making representations like in a pitch deck. I'll see that all the time where they'll say, hey, we're, you know, that they won't make those distinctions. And so that comes back and say, hey, you sort of misrepresented yourself. 
here um, to this to these investors. But anyway, um, those are some common questions we get. Um, if you want to dive deeper into any of these type of topics, uh, again, you could check out the PPM Attorney Capital Forum, uh, or you can certainly reach out and, and uh, reach out to the firm, and we'd be glad to help you with anything um, as much or as little as you need. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.